So I just wanted to show you how destroyed he was before I fixed him with plaster of Paris and uh, filled him in with putty and also um, repainted him. So as you can see, this is snippets from part one of the Cigar Store Indian restoration. And again, I'm no expert, but you can see he was really, really damaged. Um, he's made out of some kind of composite, maybe plaster of Paris mi mixed with some kind of sawdust or cement. And um, he was like, his crown was busted. I filled it in with gl a glue gun because it was it had a huge hole in it. And then I covered it with the Activa Fast Mache. And uh, this is before I did that. So you can get a, uh, you know, an idea of how damaged he was before I show you the finished process, um, the finished actually progress. Now, again, I'm definitely no expert when it comes to fixing these old things up. I just use intuition. I figured um, I needed something to cover up all these cracks and chips and damage. And that's when the paper mache repair came to mind and it clung to everything. And then I was able to spray paint it. So now take a look at how he looks after I fixed him up. So the chief is now done. And while I'm not an expert in any kind of restoration, trust me on that one, I think he uh, looks a lot better. You now I used uh, several different kinds of paint on him. I used um, actually two spray paints, actually three. I used two cans of um, different colors of Rust-Oleum, uh, Rust uh, both textured, one in hammered copper and the other in textured autumn brown. Then I used acrylic paints for the uh, hand detailing. I also used metallic paint with, um, such as Rub and Buff in ruby and antique gold. I also used um, a spray paint that had a gloss in it that had a little bit of sparkles in it to give him a shimmery effect. And uh, I used um, the acrylic artist paints um, to do the like the, the toga and the crown and the necklace and the jewelry and the base. I don't know if you could see that. I sponged on um, the base. I used the sponge for that to give it a multi-colored effect, almost like a marbled look. Um, I tried to get a bronze statue type of look from him instead of like a total wood look. Um, I think he's looking a heck of a lot better, um, especially after um, I restored the crown and the broken fingertips. But again, he's not an expert repair, but I had a lot of fun. Now I'm going to be looking for more cigar store Indians um, soon. As a matter of fact, let me get closer to him to show you um, how cool he looks. Um, now, when you get closer, you will notice the flaws um, much easier than from far away, like I just showed you. But uh, yeah, so there's the coppery effect with the metallic paints. Again, we have the base. I sponged it on in different colors just to try to get like a modeled appearance. And you can see some sparkling from the spray, uh, spray paint. I don't know if you can see it, but when I move the camera, you may notice some sparkled effects. You see that? And uh, he's putting his hand up because he wants me to end the video. But once again, thank you for joining me on another restoration, although not expert or um, any kind of, uh, you know, I don't have any kind of tips for you guys. Just uh, do what you think, have fun. If it's something that's old and busted, and uh, you want to um, try to restore it, come up with some ideas, Google things, look things up, um, and just try it. And if it doesn't come out good, what do you have? You have the same situation you had before. You have a broken statue, and uh, it's not really harming it. So uh, take care, guys, and I'll see you all soon. So long.